Like you up a cigar, we about to catch a vibe It's time to join Main and Diddy, they gon' get you right Bringing you the latest with the music, sports and news Hold up with a guard, this is taste you can't refuse Welcome to Big Smoke, where the passions ignite Sit back, relax, take a puff, catch a flight Big Smoke Podcast, this your source for the best Puff a little more, here to help you work less Yeah, keep that pressure in the chest Big bag, no stress, and no sipping on text. World, we back live in direct in the flesh. Thursday, April uh twenty fifth, two thousand twenty four. Big yep. night. See, I got my jersey on, representing Houston. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Texans. It's draft night. It's draft night, Smitty. <laughs> You ready? Yes, sir. You know what time it is, man. First round. First Ooh. round, man. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm going to wait a whole, whole damn year for hey, this. Them boys been talking, man. Yeah, waiting a year. Talking. Yeah. yeah. But before we get in that, man, oh, I'm Big oh. Smoke, man. Welcome to the, another episode of the Big Smoke Podcast. Got my guy Schmitty in here. Uh, you know, football guru, information extraordinaire, uh-huh. Vino, yeah. Bucket Hat Shawty. Yeah. Whatever you want to call Schmidt at, yeah. man. What's up, baby? Man, what's good? Like you said, man, first, first round draft, man. I'm ready. Happy to be here again. I don't have the Vino. It's early, it's early. but you know, it's early. It, it's early. You know what I mean? Early for me. I know you over I mean, there. It's time uh, where, in it's Germany, 640 so. here, my guy. Yeah, 100%. So get yourself something. You know what I mean? If, you know the rule. If it's, if it's light out, keep it light. If you winding down, you know what I mean. Get yourself a, something oh a little darker, man. If you want, if you want to settle down and, and kick it. So, but yeah, definitely excited for this for this draft, man. It's football season yeah. again, man. Fuck all that. Well, forget hey. all that. That that, that football, hey, that basketball, hey, man. We still got the, the XFL. Yeah, we got the we got the Brahmas yeah. doing That's damage a, outside. Wade Phillips coaching, he, destroying, I, kicking. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? It's still football season, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't made it Come to on, one of those baby. games yet. I'm gonna try to make it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get out there and check them out. But I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about those games. So, uh, you know, Texas, you yeah, can't yeah. get away from uh-huh. football, honestly. Little league is little league is a big thing out here. Yeah. Tikes, what they call it? Or fr- yeah. Is it Friday Shout night tikes boy, or whatever? Uh, James so yeah, you can't there, get away man. from yeah. football. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. So, uh, football. This is this is a place to be, man. If you want football, you got you got college up in Austin. You know, you got UT. It's no pro team here, but you got Dallas, mm-hmm. and then you got Houston. But in San Antonio, there's really no 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 pro teams, man. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. an advocate for it. It's so, coming. Yeah, San Antonio, make a it's make coming. a pro team, man. We, we make a pro it. team. We need it. We need it. This is about yeah. this time. It's time. Let's, let's get into that to that draft, man. So. Chicago, you're on the clock. 2024 yeah. season. 2023-2024 season was bearish for you guys. You know what I mean? Um, had some highs, had some lows, mostly lows. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my dude, Spice Adams, I, I follow him. And, he, you know, ex-bear, and he's always bear down to the, to the ground. But he wasn't bear down a lot this year, man. So... They got the yeah. number one pick. They traded their quarterback to Pittsburgh, correct? To be uh, the backup for Russell Wilson. Russell, mm-hmm. Russell Wilson. Justin Fields, right? So Justin Fields. Uh, yeah. With the number one pick, Schmitty, mm-hmm. you're the GM of the Chicago Bears. Who are you picking? It is a lot. Of, I feel like it's a lot of pressure. All uh, right. Who do I? Who do? Who do I? Who do I want to? Who do? Who would I pick? So, or who? Do I think they're going to pick? So we'll, those, we'll start those with, are two different conversations. We'll, we'll take let's let's remove your GM hat. Who are the Bears going to pick? And then as a fan, okay, who should the Bears pick? All right, man. Um, so the Bears on the clock. They're going to get Caleb Williams. They're mm-hmm. going to get Caleb Caleb Williams, USC, uh, mm-hmm. Heisman Trophy winner, two thousand twenty two. Um, I think he had 4,900 passing yards, uh, most in UFC history as a quarterback. I think he was in like, um, uh, uh, top five mm-hmm. most all time for just passing yards for that year. <clears throat> and now last year, he didn't win a Heisman, of course. 
but um, he he still had a really good year. He lost some he lost some receivers. He lost Addison. He lost some he lost some players to the draft. But uh, he still had a really good season. They didn't go to the they didn't go to the to the bowl, and and I think that kind of hurts his hurts it a little bit. That's probably really the only knock that you could say about him. That along yeah. with the fact yeah. that he's 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 a smaller he's a smaller guy. He's six one. You know what I mean? Two fourteen. So you know quarterbacks they want him to be at least six three. Like prototypical type, they want him to be six three. So yeah. he's a, he's a little on the smaller side, but he is a little more mobile now. A lot of his his pro comps, yeah. they're, they're, they are uh, comparing him to Aaron Rodgers. So uh, really really good in the pocket, but really dangerous when he gets out of the pocket. When the play when the play breaks down, he has to scramble and he's got to throw it on a run. He's really good at that, and I've and I've been watching him for the past mm-hmm. few years, and he's he might be the best at that, like improvising on the run. Uh, that's him. That's his game. He's just little, so I'm a little scared. Like how long he can hold up. We see Tua, you know, yeah. Tua, Tua, Tua. He, he's he's got banged yeah. up over the years. He's a great quarterback, but like durability is an issue. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. They put a lot of pieces around him. They got a, uh, you know, last year they got you know, um, no, damn, uh, 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 a receiver, DJ Moore. So they got DJ Moore. You know, shout out to shout out to Mel. They got DJ Moore, Caleb Williams, also from Maryland. If you didn't know, anytime, <laughs> anytime, anytime to. someone's from Maryland, I'm gonna just throw that out there, just slightly. Caleb Williams from Maryland, yeah, yeah, he's from he's from Maryland, and uh, but yeah, no, they got DJ Moore over there. They they got Keenan Allen in a free agency this year, and uh, they also got DeAndre Swift. So they got weapons. They still got Cole Komet, tight end. Mm-hmm. They 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 look good. They look way better than they look when they had Justin Fields uh, in that system, and they threw him in there to 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 fail. That might be another conversation, but uh, I think they did Justin yeah. Fields dirty. Um, I like him. I still like Justin Fields. We'll see what he does in Pittsburgh, but uh, they're going to get Caleb Williams. It's, it's like, I think I think it's a sure fire. I don't even think they. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think they took any other quarterbacks in to 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 view or like. I don't think they brought any other quarterbacks yeah. in to like to talk to. Um, so I think that says a lot. Gotcha. But uh, I mean, cause... yeah. So so we'll see. I, a, think, I think to that's me, what they're going to do. This though. QB like, draft class, is, anything it's not crazy. star-studded, but you got some heavy hitters. Jaden Daniels uh, out of LSU, Drake May at North Carolina, Michael Penix, uh, yeah. who I'm a fan of, out, out of Washington. Um, so I think, it's, like I said, it's not star-studded, mm-hmm. but they absolutely have the caliber of quarterback that I think can help any team. Me personally, I think Chicago might have or could have, should have went with maybe Jaden Daniels. Uh, what is he, 6'6"? Six, six, mobile compares to Lamar Jackson uh his NFL comp is Lamar Jackson so you want somebody that can kind of yeah. that's the way yeah. the NFL is going right now yeah. you need a, a super dual threat quarterback yeah. um to kind of run the tables and and, and Jaden mm-hmm. was in a system at LSU I mean I mean he stayed in yeah. the pocket a lot um so he was I mean he got he can move when he got to but at the same time he knows that pocket presence and, and hot. yeah, come on, man. We got it. We got to put some respect yeah. on him. So as I'll me, you know, him. like I said, I know I, I called you, you the football guru. I don't really watch yeah. football uh, yeah. as in depth as you guys, but I think me from that fan side, I would, I would have gone with, with Jaden Jones. Yeah. Much love to Caleb Williams. Um, like you, I think he's a little on the smaller side. We see what's happening with Bryce Young in, in Carolina. I agree. Uh, we see what's happening with uh, Kyler Murray in uh, Arizona. So, those smaller guys, even Russell Wilson, as of late, you know what I mean. Like he was mobile. He's not as mobile mm-hmm. as he is in, anymore. Um, but you, mm-hmm. you, he, 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 he a little stocky, a little yeah. stocky. Yeah, hurt. He, you know, Russell a little more built. Yeah. Though, you know, he yeah. a little. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He built more That's like it. a running back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But but them 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 hits do definitely catch mm-hmm. up to you. I agree with the Jaden Daniels though. Like I think they should pick Jaden Daniels. I think it should be him. I think he's I think his ceiling is is higher. Um some some people like to throw that that Mahomes stuff around with Caleb Williams, man. Let's just, let's who, just take it who easy. Can't compare Patrick Mahomes. I mean Patrick Jerome, Mahomes, Mahomes, Mahomes is, You know what I mean? I don't know if that's his middle name, but it sounds like that's what his middle name is. I don't know if that's his middle name, but it sounds like that's what his middle name is. Based on what his daddy has Jerome. been. His, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So uh, his father, look, his father looked like that. that. You his can't compare nobody to Pat, Pat nah, Mahomes, man. He, his he, like he really came in and changed the game. Um, Tom uh, Brady in a Tom Brady-ish type of way. 
uh, just no. off his skill set. You know, Tom Brady definitely. Well, let me get off that yep. tangent, man. Number number two, though, man. Yeah. And I'm talking about overall on the board. And yeah. who's, the, who's who's picking second? Washington, right? Yeah. H- held to the Commanders, right? The Commanders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still but call them the Washington football team. The Washington, Washington football team. I don't respect team. the hell to the, hell to the Washington football team. It's cool. They uh, yeah. they got the, Washington football the team. obvious choice is Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. Do you think Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. wants to go there? Will he pull a, a Eli? Because uh, he can, right? He can still navigate the waters, right? Like, what, what's your thoughts on on the number two pick? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the commanders, mm-hmm. so, man, I, I think I, Sam Howell, he's the quarterback for for the commanders right now. UNC, uh, I thought mm. he was solid. I actually I actually thought he had a, a solid year. I think he was top five in passing yards for most of the year, and I don't know what he ended with, but he, I think statistically mm. his numbers were pretty good. I think he threw a lot more interceptions than he, than he should have. But the system is not there either, like so you can't put all the blame on him. But that's why I don't like I don't I don't I don't know if I necessarily like them going to get a quarterback, but I think they are. Mm. I don't think you can like uh I think they're I think yeah, I think they're going to get a quarterback and that's why I think the, I think that's where J- your boy come in, Jaden. I think that's where Jaden Daniels come in. So um well I yeah, I don't I don't see them not taking a quarterback. I think it's too much to pass up on. Uh, too much upside with Jaden Daniels, man. And maybe they throw oh, a curveball wow. and get Drake oh, May. Wow. And and they they're saying this might be one of the drafts where three quarterbacks go top three in the first three picks. So which which would be I think it's happened before, but I can't remember the last time. But yeah, this would be this would be a, a, a rare occasion for that uh, and uh, for three quarterbacks to be chosen. I think the, mm-hmm. the Commanders are, I, they're going to get uh, Jaden Daniels. If they don't, then I think they're foolish. Uh, I think like mm-hmm. we just talked about Jaden and uh, comparisons to Lamar. Uh, perfect comparison. Uh, perfect comparison, man. I think you just gotta have a system around him, man. I think that's where a lot of these these quarterbacks yeah. they fail, man. And you throw them in systems mm-hmm. early, you know, th- throw them into the fire. And a lot of these quarterbacks ain't built for that. You we just talked about Mahomes. He sat, you know, he sat that first year behind uh, Alex Love. Smith. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers sat. Uh, for a little bit when he first got there. Um, yep. The new quarterback for Green Bay, uh, Love. Jordan Love sat behind Aaron Rodgers for a couple years. Not, like, he, now he looks great, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, not yeah. every quarterback yeah. has to sit. We got your quarterback, CJ. Well, he, yeah. he, he ain't sit, but he look. That's rare, though, Ooh. you know what I mean? That's rare for little a quarterback jazz. to just come in there and just light up the world. We still <laughs> waiting for Trevor Lawrence to <laughs> to do his thing. So, but, uh, yeah, we got and, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Cubs, yeah, we don't, we ain't talking about the Jags, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think Commanders are gonna get Jaden, man. Uh, even though I don't think they need a quarterback, if I was Commanders, I would. Mm. It's either Jaden or you trade back and get like you you get another first, you get another first for next year or this mm. year. Like some teams have two this year that you could trade with. Or you get you get a first and two mm. second rounders, or you get two first and a, and a second. Like yeah, that's the only way I'm moving from the yeah. second, and there might need two yeah. firsts and two seconds, like to move man. out of that spot. And the uh, commanders got a lot of holes, so I think the... that'll be smart for them. So we'll see though. Falcons, yeah. no, Arizona. Patriots, Patriots, Whew. yeah, they tough man because I feel like they need some Patriots. work. Man. Patriots, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they. A lot of work, and a lot of work, man. It's it's, it's kind of yeah. crazy because them and the commanders are uh, kind of in the mm-hmm. same situation. I put, I think the commanders are a better team than the Patriots right now. Uh, the the yeah. Patriots are missing a quarterback. They got Jacoby Brissett. They got Jacoby Brissett, who I like as a as a solid vet, solid backup, but he's not a starter for the whole year. So they're mm-hmm. going to get a quarterback. I can't see, and I can't see them not getting a quarterback. I think they're going to trade down. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think if they don't stay put and get a quarterback, they'll trade back mm-hmm. to get a, might, to get I mean, he another quarterback, perfectly. but we're, also we're, get another yeah. pick. And they got a lot of holes too. So we'll see. They talking about them getting Drake May, mm-hmm. UNC quarterback. Um, so if last year he was yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's he's cool. I don't I'm not that high on mm-hmm. Drake May, man. I think I liked him last year, but this this past his senior mm-hmm. year. Yeah, last year, if he would have came out last year, he would have I think he would have been uh number one. But uh this year his number and that's the hit you kinda take from Stan. But his numbers yeah. decrease and 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 he so a little we, bit we more turnovers. On a little bit, man. Yeah, man. I'm not I'm not so that Arizona high on Drake May, but we we will four. see. We will see, man. I, they definitely they, need a quarterback. They ups, I don't they I don't know if they I don't know what it, Arizona with the quarterback situation. They already upset that Kyler don't don't look at film. Um, mm-hmm. You had some some key That's vets go there, and they were kind of disappointed in I guess the direction of the team. So. Is this another team with yeah. another quarterback? That that's that's definitely the gap that they were. <laughs> Kyler Murray, you had your time, but we we need to go in a different direction. Or do we fill gaps yeah. in other in other ways? They got my boy uh, Mike Carter running the ball over there now. Um, so that's that's uh that's that's a yeah. Mm-hmm. They got they got they got a little bit of mm-hmm. they got they got man Arizona. Um, the only reason they had this top four spot is because Kyler Murray didn't play this year. So they didn't have a starting quarterback. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I think even with all mm-hmm. the back and forth that they've been having with Kyler Murray, they're going to keep him. I don't, th- I don't see him like mm. they already paid him. So they're going to have to pay him regardless if he stay or not. Nobody's going to pick up that contract. Uh, so uh, I, see him, uh, I see him getting your boy, Marvin. Marvin Harrison, man. Marvin Harrison Jr. I think this is where he come on. And uh, yeah, I think you kind of, you kind of, you kind of, mm-hmm. like the Cardinals in a position where you go for best, yeah. like available, like best, like best available yeah. and like need. So the need, they have a need for receiver, but best available left at that point is, is Marvin Harrison. A lot of people got Marvin Harrison as the number two prospect overall. So um, yeah, that's, you. I think you just kind of got to just take, you just got to yeah. take, it's there. Like, you know what I mean? You yeah. take Marvin. And hopefully yeah. try to get another year yeah. out of Kyler and uh, see what happens. Keep trying to build around this year. And if it don't work this year, at least you got Marvin for another, you know, four years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and, and Marvin's and Marvin's that he's a, he's the best uh, receiver in the in his in his yeah. star studded. I say like a a heavy a heavy draft full of receivers. So um, yeah, Malik na- neighbors I like a lot. Some people maybe do like one A one B. But uh, yeah, I got I got him taking Marvin. Uh, mm. Yeah, we'll we'll see though. I don't I don't see him moving from that spot yeah, unless they. Gotcha, gotcha. The only way I see him moving from I'm that a, spot. I want to end it end it with this one, down man. We'll just to do fill the top some more spots, today, but they they're we're definitely back getting this, the receipt. You know, after the draft I think is they just they get, they're not getting a quarterback. Well, they're going to get Chargers with the last yeah. pick. Yeah. Chargers. Um, Chargers yeah. are weird, man. You know, they like to me it's yeah they they have the pieces. But they, I feel like there's a hump or, or or a wall that they they don't they don't see, and it's like stopping. Yeah. So they got their what gets them over that hump? Because for that fan base, that you know that to be a Charger fan to me already is already hard. You you, you lost your team in San Diego. Mm-hmm. They moved down to LA. LA now they like the Clippers, you know. So you know what I mean. So it's like, what 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 do we do, man? So who who do you got for going to to the Chargers? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stupid. Foolish. Uh man, like you said, uh Chargers are weird, but they also got a lot of holes, man. Uh Chargers they got their quarterback. Mm-hmm. So at least they got that. So so any any time like you in a top five or top ten, I say like the top eight picks and you got your quarterback already, you you're good. Like you're mm-hmm. in a good place because Everybody's gonna to try to move up for a quarterback. So if you got, if you have your quarterback, that means you can sit back and either take best available, you know, <laughs> pass rusher or or receiver or whatever, mm-hmm. an O lineman, um, or you could tra- or you could trade back and get and get you know get another get a receiver mm-hmm. in a later round, you know what I mean? But you a lot of people don't trade back if you need a quarterback. Like if you need a quarterback, you don't really do too much trading back unless you got a lot of holes to fill. Um, but even still, you still just try and take that quarterback and hope that he's going to do good. So that's why I say the Chargers, man, they got rid of Keenan Allen. Mistake. Uh, most one of the most underrated receivers, um, in the league. And then Mike Williams, they got rid of Mike Williams. I think he went to the Jets. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got to get a receiver. I think they need a receiver. Gotcha. And they need a, uh, and or an O-lineman. So I'm thinking yeah. Uh, yeah. either a, a guard or yeah. a tackle Good, or man. a receiver. But yeah, man, um, let's 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 wrap it up there. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of why I see the Chargers, man. How, like you said, the Chargers are weird. Level. That's what but, I want. Uh, I think anywhere. I see them getting either receiver you know, or some, other drafts. Some you see, line. they got the they you know, still we had Davion uh, Clowney with his big back. moment. We had uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence, Mr. There. Sunshine. You know, uh, back to back Clemson wins and stuff like that. We had so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ohio State with Bryce Young at Alabama. Which one I'm not really hearing the. There's no, yeah. there's no we'll fireworks, see. no fanfare. Like it's just another draft. It's a draft for football, for all fans like yourself, Sammy, yeah. D, like those folks. Y'all might be like, okay, it's, let's let's see what you know who's gonna pick up. You know what I mean? But for me, the casual fan, you know, I'm just all I know is my Texans, and that's what I really care about. It's just like eh, I ain't really heard too too much. It, it, there's no yeah. fanfare, man. So how you feeling about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It does feel different. It does feel a little different this year. It feels different, man. Um, for sure. Yeah, I think this year, like we I, we talked about I it a little to, bit. I think I this even year, want to touch down I want you and Sam to just sit down. This is this is the year that you should meet manifest. that. I should you know get I mean? on tonight. We got, we got about five stream, quarterbacks that could go and, and first round. And maybe about the picks that Dallas five or six makes, quarterbacks that could go first round. Boy, five, man. five to like seven receivers that could go first round. <laughs> uh, it's a pass heavy <laughs> league. So you need a quarterback, you need somebody to throw it to. <laughs> I so, see uh, you don't have that, you just, tweet. You, you're not good. He said, man, and, I'm uh, sorry for, but yeah, for the my, fans my that Dallas that, that Jerry Jones is not doing man, anything to make the team better, man. With a little heart But Dallas, man, that's tough. Dallas, they got the 24th pick. Yeah, well. It's gonna be a vent. It's gonna be a vent session. It's gonna be a vent session. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a lot of words. Yeah, Patty, Patty, mm -hmm. man, Patty, Patty. They love what what T O C man. They still love to hate me. Yeah, yeah man, it's cool. Well, we gonna, we gonna, we. They love to hate Dallas, man. Mm -hmm. See us kick us mm -hmm. when it's going down. We deserve it. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It's whatever. We'll see what we'll see what happened with that. So but, you you uh, you love me double you know what, you double scouting. If, you like if, okay. The, the, I'm, I'm, if you my, if my your Cowboys team ain't picked up him, in the first four, you ain't too it. hype about your man has been picked up the your damn, team. Philly didn't my, got my enough. thing is like to always saying, look sure. at the teams in the division. I like to see first you want to see where the top players mm -hmm. go, but you also want to be like, okay, we got Giants yep. in the division. We got we got Philly, Giants, and the Commanders. I'm I'm worried <laughs> to see. You. I'm like, how good are they? How good are they going to draft? So now I'm just scouting. I'm waiting for them to pick somebody. I'm like, yes, they picked him. They didn't, you know what I mean? They didn't pick the guy that they should have picked. Appreciate so, yeah, your insight, my brother. A little bit tonight. I know you're about and, to start uh, your day. Like noon did. over there, man. So go ahead and get started. Hit the market. Hit yeah, the farmer's man. market. Oh, yeah. Yep. Grab a bottle of vino for you. For your night, yeah. your night tonight, yeah, man. You might need two because your yeah. draft night might be a little. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got something. to. Get, you got to be on the hunt and just look at the competition. Get you something man. that's heavy. Get you, you gotta a, know what you're going up against. You a, See, that'll a, 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 that'll either straight, raise your expectations a, for the year or a Merlot. Up, you might you know have to drink I mean? a Merlot tonight. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna be looking to see heavy. what every other team does. I'm just interested. Man. I'm a fan, so uh, I'm gonna be locked in. Yeah. Already, man. All right, yeah. man. We out. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a red tonight, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Go for it. A cat, a cat. I'm a low or or Bordeaux. Something like something heavy, dark. Look like yeah, yeah, man. I'm gonna be sunk into the couch, man, in a sunken place, trying to figure it all out. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be. We're gonna be all right, though, man. <laughs> Light you up a cigar, we about to catch a vibe. It's time to join Main and Diddy, they gon' get you right. Bringing you the latest with the music, sports, and news. Hold up with a guard, this is taste you can't refuse. Welcome to Big Smoke, where the passions ignite. Sit back, relax, take a puff, catch a flight. Big Smoke Podcast, this is